I'm Sean Hines, and this is Hard News for Monday, September 22nd, 2014. Video game terror has struck the Middle East as gaming propaganda was recently released by the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, or ISIS. Arabic media reports that a YouTube video titled Grand Theft Auto Salih al Sarawam is a promotional video for an upcoming game from the terrorist organization. The ISIS media wing, yeah, they got one of those too, is using the game to raise the morale of the Mujahideen and to sway children to their cause. A Mujahideen is a Muslim freedom fighter most often associated with radical Islam. So is there really a video game coming from ISIS? Probably not. Just looking at the video they provided, it's definitely GTA San Andreas, just heavily edited to look like a jihad simulation complete with explosions, drive-bys, and the general fuck the police attitude that we too embrace as Americans. Ironically, the one way we might be able to connect with this terrorist organization is through a gangster-infused culture which celebrates violence. So much for society, guys. Now, in more warm-hearted news, it appears that the Video Game History Museum has, in fact, found a permanent home right here in Texas. The museum has been a mainstay of a number of events, including E3 and many local Gearbox Community Days, but it was in need of an actual physical location for quite some time. Now, thanks to the city of Frisco, Texas, which is just 20 minutes from our offices, they will be moving to a 10,000 square foot space within the Frisco Discovery Center. Co-founders Sean Kelly and John Hardy told the Dallas News that they're excited about the new opportunity, and outside of preserving games for generations, they intend to use the museum as an educational tool. Now, the city will also spend up to $800,000 on building improvements and add some extra parking, which patrons will start using for themselves in April of 2015. Between the museum and Gearbox software, Frisco is quickly becoming the city for gaming, so it looks like we just moved to the wrong city. Finally, big news for PlayStation TV today, with reveals of both the entertainment lineup and a release date in North America and Europe. First and foremost, games. PlayStation TV will feature a huge library of nearly 700 compatible games at launch, with Vita hits like Killzone Mercenary, Freedom Wars, and Muramasa Rebirth alongside some PSP games, PlayStation 1 Classics, and PlayStation Minis. Other entertainment plans include the launch of an internet television service by year's end in partnership with Viacom. Multiple Sony platforms, which include the PlayStation TV, will be incorporating the PlayStation Now service and other streaming services like Viacom's 20 channels. Sony hopes to expand to other networks like Discovery, Time Warner, and Stars. Lastly, the date and price are official, and we will be getting our hands on the PlayStation TV October 14th, for $100, and ballers can get a bundle for $140 that includes the LEGO movie game, a PS3 controller, and an 8 gig memory card. Walmart will even throw in a Sly Cooper Thieves of Time at no extra cost, other than dirtying your soul with Walmart skates. If only PlayStation Now pricing wasn't completely fucking insane. Get on that, son. I'm Sean, and that was hard news. <laughs> Hey, thanks for sticking around after Hard News. If you hadn't already watched it, our latest episode of Death Battles intro videos is live, where we feature Tiger Zord from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Be sure to check it out right now on our YouTube channel just by clicking this video to my left. Sound good?